hello traders welcome to a new sierra chart video guide i haven't done one of this in a while and um, i had some questions regarding the graphic settings so i'm gonna go over this i had a video that i released about uh two years ago talking about graphic settings but i'm gonna specifically talk about the differences between the two ways that you can change all the colors and the fonts on your charts and just explain how those work okay before we dive right in make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos and make sure to check the playlists on my channel under trade uh trading platform guides i got about 30 videos already in the sierra chart series i think so there's a ton of information there if you're interested or you just want to get uh, better at this uh, platform okay so I'm using as an example here this is a base uh, chart book that I have that's actually available on my website um, if you want to uh, purchase it for download it's basically five time-based charts I have them set to the Nasdaq so I have a one minute chart here five minute one hour daily weekly okay so pretty much the five main time frames that i use to do all my analysis and then to do my uh intraday trading as well so as you can see all these charts are set in like a light uh gray color like sort of beige color background and my candles i have them all uh green and red with black wicks and all the numbers that i'm using and the uh, um the edges of the charts etc are all set in black so there's a nice contrast and this is sort of the color template that i like okay now the thing with this is there's two ways you can control the settings on sierra chart for your graphs the first one is under chart right here and the second one is under global settings okay if i go and i click chart you can see that it says right here the third option graphic settings chart if i click that up it's going to bring up this window right here with has colors and widths fonts and other okay and then if i click on global settings on the second one there's one called graphic settings global if i click on that you can see it looks the same except we're missing a option here that's only available in the individual chart settings okay so as you know sierra chart is stored locally on your system it is not like for example trading view which is a cloud-based system so for example on trading view you know if i use it let's say on my phone on my laptop and on my desktop at home and let's say i'm on my desktop and i change the colors of my charts and i make them into like a, a dark theme like a a black background when I open those charts on my laptop or my phone, they're also going to look black because it is all cloud-based storage. So any changes you make are going to be reflected wherever you access your uh, charts from. With Sierra Chart, it doesn't work that way. This is stored in your specific uh, computer that you're using it. So all the changes that you made are going to be stored locally. So basically, if you go under global settings, graphic settings, global, everything that you're going to set over here. And, you know, this is a really large list. I'm not going to go through everything right over here. Some of these things I never really even uh, use or need to change. But basically, you know, basic things like the color of your chart text, the color of your background, the color of the grids of the chart, which would be, you know, these lines right over here on the time and on the price axis, uh, the scale border, 
um, you know, those things are the main uh, things that you're going to be want to try to tinker. So whatever settings you have under chart settings global, this is going to be the default for all the charts that you're going to have on your system. OK, and so as you can see, the way this chart looks is how I have it set now. If we go into the individual chart settings for uh, graphic settings for a chart, and you can do this two ways. You can either just click on the chart to make sure this is the active one. Go to chart and click graphic settings chart and bring it up. Or I also have a shortcut here I like to use. I just right click and I have the option right here. This menu. I have a whole video dedicated to shortcuts and to uh, toolbars, but basically under global settings, customize shortcut menu. That is going to bring this and basically you have all these options that you can add over here and all these options on the right side is what's going to come up when I right click. So I, you can see graphic settings is right here on the second. So whenever I right click anywhere, it's going to bring up this menu. So if I go into graphic settings chart, you can see that it brings this menu again, but notice this option. This is a very important option and thing that you need to understand. See how it says use global graphic settings instead of these settings. Any chart that you have this option ticked off on the graphic settings, means that by default it is going to use whatever you have under your global graphic settings and I recommend that you know I personally think you should just have this on all your charts that way they're all uniform and you know that they're all going to go by default to the settings that you're going to put on your global menu okay so as an example, let's say I'm going to take off that global setting from this chart. So I'm going to click on this chart, graphic, graphic settings, and see if I take this off and I click apply. Look how now this chart became in dark mode, because if I'm not using the global graphic settings, I've already set the options here for a dark mode chart. So as you can see, the chart text is white. The background is like a very dark gray. The grids are white. The scale border is white. And even here, as if you can notice here, when I click, the crosshairs on all these charts is black and the crosshairs on this chart is white as well. And that option is going to be, if you go down more, let me see where it is, right here, chart values crosshair, you can see that I put it as a light gray color, just so it contrasts well with this chart. OK, but as you can see, if I click use global settings instead of this settings and I click apply it is now going to revert to the same global settings that I have for everything on my system. OK, so that's basically the premise. You're, you'll notice if, for example, you install a chart, a CHT chart file from Sierra chart that someone gives you. If you install it on your system, it is probably going to look different because your system is going to go by default to whatever your global settings are. So and that's something that I tell, for example, on my courses, I share a whole free customized customize a chart book with all the charts that I use for my uh, trading courses that I teach as well as the charts that I have for downloads on my website. I always put a disclaimer there saying when you install this on your computer, it may look a little bit different just because your system is going to go by default to whatever your graphic global settings are. So 
if you install, if I have everything in a light theme and someone gives me, you know, a dark theme chart book that it's a dark theme on their computer, but I put it on mine, it's going to look uh, light. So I'm going to have to go and take this off and then just go through the settings and just make sure that it is set to whatever I want. You know, and I do sometimes use dark mode charts for a few things. So when I do that, I just make sure this is not clicked on. And then I select all the settings that I want specifically just for that chart that I'm going to use in dark mode. Uh, things, for example, like this price line, which is basically the current price that we are at. These things are not controlled in the uh, graphic settings because this is an indicator. So in this case, you would go to analysis studies and you can see on their price line, this is going to be controlled here in the subgraphs and this is going to be the settings for your colors. So all these studies or indicators in Sierra chart are going to have their own color settings within their individual uh, setting options. But as far as, you know, the candlesticks, the backgrounds, the text, the fonts as well. If you go over here, graphic settings under the fonts, you can see you can change the chart text, the text of the windows, etc. OK, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this thing, uh, there's a lot of options here. I've been using Sierra chart for five years now, and there's still things that I don't really even, you know, use or have looked into how to use. But, you know, pretty much all the things that I need for the way I trade and my uh, charts I already have, you know, memorized what I need to do. So I would just recommend, you know, I just spend hours and hours trial and error, just going down everything, making changes, clicking apply and just watching to see what changed. And slowly, you know, you're just going to start learning by memory what each of the things is and what things you need to change or not, etc. OK, but I hope that has cleared up. Uh, how that works in terms of the graphic settings. Again, individual chart settings versus global graphic settings. Okay, hope you have a great one. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.